fucked up, Murray. Yeah, you fucked up big time, Murray. My family temper destroyed. Never have I suffered such an outrage. You shall pay. Eat it, Sal. I broke your temple, and I'll break your face for messing with the Cooper gang. You cannot hurt me. <laughs> oh, Murray, yeah. Though. Heads up, Bentley! Treasure chest coming down! Hey, Murray don't fuck around, man. The outrage! Stone dragon of the temple! I summon you! From rock to flesh! Aid the family Tao in this hour of need! Oh, great. Wonderful. Sweet strawberry shortcake! No! Hey! <laughs> what the <laughs> fuck? <laughs> is master in this place. Hear me, Sly Koopa. My lineage surpasses yours in every way. It's not about the family name, pal. It's what you do with it. You're a D-bag. So, so I'm gonna win. What the fuck were you doing, Sly? Seriously. What the fuck were you doing? I'm getting there as fast as I fucking can. You ever tried fucking a dragon? Damn. Why does, like, every time I jump, he, like, jumps back and it's annoying. Damn. That's how easy it is, huh? Oh, I almost fell in the water, too. Oh. That monkey's throwing shit at me? <laughs> fucking stupid fucking monkey. Stop! Go away! Dumbass monkey. Did he drop health? Yeah, you better add. That shit on your chest. God bless. All right. Round two, you fucker. Shit! Shit! Oh, 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 no, oh, wait. Never mind. We're good. We're good. I like how he just tries to lick you. Okay, here we go. We got this. We got this. He's got like a couple more baby hits and then we're good. Just sit still, you weenie master. There we go. Get fucked up. Feel like making an exit? My hero. I still win, Koopa. You might have stolen my treasure and thwarted my dragon, but I still have the bride. Jean King is mine. Yeah, you go for that. Yeah, you do that, buddy. I want to see you in that dress, too. me god this cough is is going to be to the death of me 35 percent what dragon dragon punch is that a z shape 
Oh. General Sal had For real, you couldn't tell that wasn't a fucking panda? Everything was as he'd arranged. Except the bride came as kind of a shock. Because the guy's a fucking idiot. Carmelita was a little disappointed it wasn't me she busted at the altar. Although I doubt she minded taking Sal into custody. He did, after all, plague the streets with the undead. From what I hear, the locals were happy to see him go. We dropped off Jean King with her aunt. The Panda King insisted that she be safe there and that he needed to pay off his debt to the gang. I was still wary, but there was no denying that his skills would come in handy. Needless to say, we lived it up in the back streets of Shanghai. What kind of gang of thieves would we be if we passed up on recreation like that? <laughs> we have the Panda King. Alright, gang's coming together. Who's next? Who are we about to pick up next? Clockwork with that new age of hating? Going from generation to generation to hate on you? Dead men tell no tales. I have a feeling that I think I know who that is. It is. It's Homegirl. The, uh, is it? No. Is it? No. We got the message late one Saturday night. Dimitri was calling in the favor I promised him back. Greasy home. sweet. He gone ahead and booked the whole team passage under assumed identities to none other than Blood Bath Bay. Easily the most lawless town on earth. It's home to a group of cultural hermits who doggedly maintain the ways of their pirate forefathers. The cruise over gave us some time to get the rundown from Dimitri. I guess his grandfather, Remy Lestow, was a pioneer in deep sea diving. He'd made a fortune looting undersea wrecks. Although his luck ran short when a young cutthroat by the name of Black Spot Pete stole not only his loot, <laughs> but his precious diving gear as well. That's not who I think it is. <laughs> a broken man, Remy retired from treasure hunting and eventually started a family. Dimitri, growing up on his grandfather's stories, dreamed of one day recovering the gear. So that was our task. We've been called in to get our hands on this miraculous diving equipment. Not all bad, really. If things go our way, the team might get a frogman out of the deal, which Bentley figures will be a big help cracking the Cooper box. That Bentley, always thinking. There we go. All right. For a second, I thought it was the alligator chick from the first game. For a second. For a split second. For a split second. All right, let me see. Can we pause it? Yes, we can pause it. Okay, guys. Dead Men Tell No Tales, the next chapter. We're going to tackle that very soon. Uh, a lot sooner than before because there's no grinding. And I can, I can say that that's why I took a little break from Sly Cooper. I just really didn't feel like doing it. But now that that's over, we can continue with the flow of the game. We will continue this at another date very early. It's, uh, what tonight? It's like Tuesday morning? Mon no, it's Monday morning. Um... I think I might do more Quantum Break today, because it's 2.14 in the morning. I think I'm going to do more Quantum Break, and then I'll maybe record more Sly Wednesday. But, um, it'll be fine. We'll, we'll do it, we'll do it. But thank you guys for watching. I'm enjoying Sly once we got past the little bump in the road. That, that one, the boss fight was pretty fun. Not the, the, uh, the one with the fucking dragon, but when we were fighting the, the uh, General Zhao, that was a lot of fun, even though it was butt clencherific. But thank you guys for watching. I hope you're enjoying this as much as I am. Hope you all have a wonderful morning, a great day, a beautiful afternoon, and an awesome night. If it is your birthday, sir, you sexy devil, happy birthday to you. And if it is your birthday, you gorgeous, gorgeous woman, happy birthday to you too. And I look forward to seeing you guys next time on Sly 3. Bye. Bye. Oh, I can do it. Bye. Almost. Almost. We're, we're getting there. I'm getting my voice back. Bye. Almost! I'm so excited. I've never... Okay, I gotta go.
<laughs> See you guys.